Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, today, we're going to be playing with, well mainly the high school pack. I don't usually make so many videos when a new pack comes out. But I've just been having so much fun with this one that I want to play with it some more. So, I thought for today's video we would try and achieve one of the aspirations. And the one we're working on today is... Drama Llama, because we love drama on this channel. So I've got myself a little sim, her name is Alice Brown, she lives in this house with her twin brother Chester. Chester's just going to kind of be in the background, it's mainly going to be Alice who's going to go around achieving this aspiration. I wonder how long it would take. Well, I have to um, gossip five times, so I'm going to try and challenge myself a bit more and say that I can only gossip one time with each sim. She wants to make an enemy. Gossip with your brother and then do your homework. I'm thinking the biggest chunk of all this stuff, we're probably going to have to wait till we get to school. When we get to school, we'll make some friends or some enemies. We'll gossip with four sins, maybe spread a cheeky rumour. And we also need to find a love interest to mess around with in the cuddle carts. Also, I apologise for the way I sound. For some reason, I'm really, like, blocked up. Not sick or anything. In myself, I'm feeling fine, but i just not breathing too good today. So I might sound a bit nasally. I love how those two were just arguing. When do we have school? Two days! We don't have school for two days! What if I just travel to the high school anyway, in the morning? She's angry from an aggravating conversation. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe at 8am. We'll just travel to the school anyway. There'll be kids there. I wonder if I can even go into the school when I'm not supposed to be. If I could, it'd be a bit weird, because you could play as like an adult sim or an elder sim going into the school. That'd be really weird. Maybe I should try that. Okay, it's 8am, the kids are going to be at school. Let's head over there, see if we can make some friends. That is on the assumption that I'm allowed on school grounds. Oh, I can still... I can still go to school, even if it's not a school day for me. That's bad. I could play as like an adult or something, just come go to school. Oh, someone's doing the T-pose. Right, let's just get to grips with our surroundings. We've got some teens around us, so probably we should go around introducing ourselves. I do need to find a love interest at some point. Okay, I've queued up a few introductions so we can at least start gossiping before spreading a vicious rumour. Okay, I've met a few people. Getting myself a little gang now, look, standing in a circle. Okay, I've introduced myself to a few people. Let's get gossiping. First day of school, just chat shit about the other kids. Try and turn them all on each other. Try and get fights in the hallways, mean girl style. Oh, everyone's going to class. Okay, well, she's hungry anyway. She could just go get some food from the cafeteria. I wonder if she'll get detention, even though she's not even meant to be at school. Like if she gets caught hanging out outside the classroom. Oh, nice to see the school's got some healthy food going on. Yeah, very good. Jamie Oliver would be proud. My husband has a personal vendetta against Jamie Oliver <laughs> because there was a time like in the, what, early 2000s, I think, maybe mid 2000s, where he basically, oh, she's gone to class anyway with her burrito. <laughs> there was a, or a wrap, is that? There was a time where Jamie Oliver basically changed the school menu in a select number of schools and like got rid of all of their junk food. And the school my husband went to was one of those schools, so if you even mention Jamie Oliver's name, it's, it's like a swear word in our house. He hates Jamie Oliver because 15 years ago he took away my husband's chicken tendies. Bit of a tangent there, but you know. Go and prank the toilet. Oh, what's that principal doing? You stay away from me, principal. Oh fuck, she's watching me prank this toilet. She doesn't look too impressed, does she? Oh no, oh no, be caught by school staff, oh no, this isn't great. She was standing behind me waiting patiently to watch. You can't give me detention when I'm not even at school. Well, I didn't get a pop-up with her telling me off, so I guess maybe it just doesn't count. So, no detention for me. Okay, I think it's lunchtime, so it's time to get my gossip on, I think. We have some shit to talk. Is that teacher going to tell me off? No, she was just saying hello. Okay, good, good. I have gossiped three times now with the other kids. Couple more gossips to go. Hey, I've done my gossiping five times. Right, I'm going to take a photo with someone who could potentially be my love interest. What about Dwayne? He seems like a heartthrob. 
Let's take a selfie with Dwayne. Maybe he'll ask me to prom. So Dwayne, do you always go everywhere looking like a lifeguard? Or is that just your thing? Is that a whistle? I can't figure out if that's a whistle or a shark tooth. I think it's just a whistle that he carries around. What a weird thing to do, Dwayne. Just carry a whistle everywhere you go. Why won't you do what I'm telling you to? Why won't you take a photo? What's your fucking problem? Do what I told you to. If you cross that off, I will be so pissed off with you. Okay, there we go. This one's for social bunny, so we can let the whole school know that you belong to me. And then if you don't mind, we'll take a selfie together every day, just so all the other girls know you're taken every day. How did you break the to- Oh, you used the toilet that you pranked, you fucking idiot. You didn't think to disable the prank before you sat on the throne? Oh, wait, has someone drawn on that mirror? Someone's graffitied the mirror. Brilliant. Oh, maybe it isn't graffiti because she can't, like, draw anything on it. Maybe it was just a different swatch. Or maybe you need, like, a really high mischief skill, actually. Right, let's go ask Dwayne a risque question. What are you stomping around for? Oh, no, that was really embarrassing. I don't think that went as well as I thought it would. Oh, shit. Okay, well, then let's just use him to spread rumours. Spread rumours about Woohoo? Fuck it, we've already ruined our chances with him. Spread rumours. Oh, Alice has a major crush on Dwayne. Well, show him you fancy him by being irrationally mean. I think she's spreading a rumour right now. And then we'll just queue up some friendly interactions. I like that teens can boast about messing around, even if they haven't messed around. Seems quite realistic for teenagers. If you've seen the in-betweeners, you'll know what I mean. Right, I'm trying to think. He's embarrassed, so probably the best way to get him out of this embarrassed mood is to just make him laugh, and then that will turn him playful. And then maybe we can try and take a romantic turn. Okay, 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 he's happy. So, okay, what if we try to risk a question again, huh? What if we try it again? And then maybe a few jokes after that, softly, softly. And then maybe we'll try flirting again. Oh, oh, he seems... Yes, he was receptive to that. Great. We should reveal crush. He'll love that. I wonder if he'll accept a warm embrace. Let's see. Embrace me. Embrace me, Dwayne. Oh, he embraced it. He's loving it. Declare love publicly? That might be a bit too much at this point. What about if we just do a pickup line and exchange numbers? Yes, Moochie Peachy. So, so. Okay, he's feeling flirty. I'm feeling confident. This is obviously going to go down well, isn't it? Oh no, I think, I think it, it's saying awkward. Probably because that girl's trying to get in on my conversation. Hey, fuck off, Savannah. This isn't a group number, this is a duet. Oh no, he's embarrassed again. Okay, let's tell him some jokes. This is your fucking fault, Savannah. We'll lift the mood. You just go up to random people on the street and ask their romantic preferences? How rude. Whoops. Well, I mean, you're not a stranger. We did just have a warm embrace, but fine. Be like that. I'm not even trying to get anything serious here, Dwayne. I'm not trying to tie you down, man. I'm just trying to get a cuddle in the cuddle carts. Walk away from me. Maybe I can, like, take him to the pier with me. If I, yeah, let's go. Come on, Dwayne. Let's go. I'm going to have to move pretty fast if I want to mess around within a few minutes on the pier. It's an ambitious dream, but I'm an ambitious girl. Right. Dwayne, we're in the park, we're alone, there's no one else around. How about we blow a little kiss? Just a little one, just a little kiss. Please tell me you're feeling flirty. Oh, what about um, a mistletoe kiss and then maybe a first kiss? We are getting very close to the point of no return. You get to a stage with a, a sim where you've romanced them enough that they're not just going to be turned off by awkward comments. I mean, we've had our first kiss. This is going swimmingly. I'm thinking we might be getting close to messing around levels. Hold hands. We might be not quite friendly enough to mess around yet, but... Right, Dwayne, how about we head to the pier? You and me. Do I have the option to... Oh, I do have the option to mess around with Dwayne. Oh... Hopefully he says yes. I think he's just gone home. No, he's still here. Okay, great, great. If he's still here, then he might just be up to party. All right, Dwayne. Let's go. Love tunnel. You want to come in the cuddle carts with me? A, 
Alice has learned Dwayne's mess around interests. Okay, great. Oh, this is going so well. Almost completed stage one of Drama Llama. How exciting. Go on, kids. Have a great time. Milestone complete. Alice has completed hot gossip of the Drama Llama. Now I have to be mean on Social Bunny five times and break up with a C. Okay, well then when we come out, I'm going to ask Dwayne to be my boyfriend so I have someone to break up with. Here we go, ask to be boyfriend. And then we'll go on to Social Bunny, we'll add some friends and then we'll start being a bitch. Aww, they're cute. Right, let's open up Social Bunny. We'll add some friends. Okay, new message. We'll send one to Hugo. Mean message. You look like a shaved llama. You know, that was quite fun, actually. Kind of something quite exhilarating about that. I want to do it again. Gressa Laurent. Mean message. Is she just going to say the same thing? Oh, she only said the same thing. Oh. Also, be mean on social bunny five times. Oh, yeah, okay, it did count it. For a second there, I thought it didn't recognise. All right, well, this has been fun. I'm going to head home and get ready for another day of school tomorrow where I'm going to dump your ass, Dwayne. Have a great night. Hope you enjoyed it. Woohoo him and then pie him off. All right, kids, you guys don't have a parent, so I'll have to fill that role. Get to bed, it's late. Actually, it's not that late, it's 10.30. But still, you've got school in the morning. Get some sleep. Don't be dicks about this. Don't forget to set your alarms. Good night, God bless. Why are you embarrassed growing out of control? <laughs> Go back to sleep. If Wicked Whims did puberty... It would be a lot more extreme. They'd be having, like, wet dreams and stuff. Yeah, I know you're going through puberty. Wait, I know that you're going through puberty, but it shouldn't be something that wakes you up in the night. What's going on with you, Alice? You're hungry? Why don't you go have a little 4am snack, a little pepperoni pizza roll-up, and then maybe, once you've eaten, we'll engage in a little bit of late-night trolling for a bit of fun. Let's see if we got any replies to our messages. Molly wants to be added to your contact list. Well, you are on my contact list, Molly. That's why I even saw your message. Someone gave me eyes rolling. <laughs> so I made Alice send the messages, you look like a shaved llama. And then off her own accord, I did not do this. She sent someone a message saying, please, just go back into your house and remove the door. No one wants to see you in public. Let's send a message to Kaori. We'll send a mean message. You look like a shaved llama. Same thing. Also, her aspiration has recognised it as four times. So even when she sends mean messages on her own accord, it contributes to her aspiration. Brilliant. Be mean to Dwayne. Ask Dwayne about his day. <laughs> right, come on then, kids. Let's go to school. Imagine how that would go. Hey, Dwayne, you fucking dipshit. You having a good day? Kind of sounds like a conversation my husband and I have at any given time. Right, we've got some morning time. Perfect opportunity to go and break Dwayne's heart. Where is he? Where's my man? Oh, there he is. I brought you some tissues. Mean breakup. Let's go. No, don't cross it off. Do as I say. You do not live your own life. Go and break up with Dwayne. Oh, Alice Brown is breaking up with Dwayne. Oh, he's heartbroken. Oh, he's devastated. Why are you crying? You broke up with him. Oh, they hate each other now. Bitter about breakup. Bad romance. Oh, dear. Probably a good time for a little bit of trolling, huh? Should we rub salt in the wound and also send him a horrible message? Alice, listen to these old folks telling us they can't get out of the pool without a ladder. Hit the gym. Did I get any reply? Not even a cow plant wants to be around you, Alice. Well, fuck you, Greta. I enjoy this. If you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll know that my character of choice... Oh, I have achieved the second part of my aspiration. Yeah, most of you that watch a lot of my videos know that usually when I play The Sims, I always prefer playing as bad Sims. Villains, bad guys, meanies, that is my forte. That's why the Barbie series went on for so long. I'm just really good at playing assholes. <laughs> what does that say about me? I don't know. Not for me to say. Right, wait, you've still got one thing left of your aspiration. Get up here. Well, I've trolled a few people. I have an ex-boyfriend. Now I just have to work on getting myself an enemy, right? Have an, an enemy rival. Join an after-school activity and select declare enemy from the mean category towards a rival sim. 
Okay, let's join um, maybe cheerleading as soon as class is over. But can I just declare anyone a rival or do I actually have to be like enemies with them to declare them a rival? Cheer team member, there we go. Also, lunch is pretty short. Is it like career day or something? Oh, yeah. Okay, so can I just declare anyone a rival or do I need to actually like hate them? Let's just be mean to Savannah because I think she came with this pack. So maybe she's another cheerleader. I'm not sure whether I need like someone else part of the cheer team who I can be an enemy rival with. Let's just fight this girl and see if we can become like enemy rivals. Oh, fight in the school. Alice Brown is getting into her first fight. <laughs> uh, oh, she got beaten up. Now she's a bit dazed. I still can't declare enemy rival though. Oh, I've just seen Noah Kane is my rival. All right, well, where the fuck is Noah Kane, huh? I think I have to travel to the auditorium, so let's go there. Oh, I missed out on going to the auditorium. Right, let's invite Noah to hang out at current lot. Noah Kane will be right over. Good, bring your boxing gloves, mate. There they are. Okay, let's go yell at Noah. We'll argue with them. We'll just try and get to enemy levels. He's feeling, they're feeling flirty. We'll soon change that. That's right, you guys just keep being mean to each other and then we'll go for a fight. We'll probably lose again because we have no fitness skill. She's getting a bad reputation. She's a, we're a bad girl. Our second fight of the day. Oh, he won. Oh. Okay, now they despise each other. Mock rival. There we go, declare enemy. Perfect. Sims are funny when they're mean to each other. She wants to ask Dwayne to be her boyfriend again. <laughs> Noah and Alice have had it. They are now enemies. That's right. That's right, we're enemies. Aspiration achieved. Alice has completed the Drama Llama Aspiration. Yeah, that's right. That was a fun aspiration to do. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And let me know which aspiration from the new pack is your favourite. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.